if you'd like, please join me in the Lord's Prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <coughs> okay. All right, uh, roll call, please. All right, Mr. Dudley? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Yes. Mr. Moats? Yes. Mr. Singleton's absent. Uh, Mr. Yurdock? Yes. <clears throat> okay, do I have a motion to accept the agenda and the addendum? Motion. I will second. Roll call. Mr. Dudley? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Yes. Mr. Moats? Yes. Mr. Yurdock? Yes. All right, we are going to, uh, I'm going to move forward to public participation, then we'll go with the administrator's report. That way, if anybody here does want to talk, they don't have to set through the administrator's reports. Uh, I did look at the sign-in sign sheet. Mr. Clendenning, did you, you want to address the board? Yes, I'd like to. Okay, that's fine. We'll give you a My vote approved. Yes, sir, absolutely. Um, I had an incident with my son on April 29th of last year with Mr. Andrew Nichols. He had my boy, okay. and I'm here today to talk about it. Okay. Um, here's the police report, and I uh, would like to know um, what is going on with it, and if there's a zero tolerance for teachers hitting students, and what the district's gonna do in the future to make sure that this doesn't happen to anyone else again. Okay. We'll look through this here a second. Okay, thank you. Okay, I guess I've looked through it here. And unfortunately, as far as, I gotta be honest with you, as far as the board goes here, uh, we can't nor will we be able to discuss a teacher discipline situation as the Board of Education at an open meeting. Uh, I know these issues, I'm somewhat aware about this, to be honest with you. And I know these issues, that we take them very serious. And I, I can tell you that this has been addressed with our local law enforcement and with our attorneys. <coughs> and as far as that goes, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of out of the board's hand, you know, as far as the board of education, because we, we really don't get involved in, you know, this aspect of it. So. I guess to, to, to help you along, I mean, it looks like it's been looked into. I think the teacher has been disciplined. Uh, 
I wish I could go further, Mr. Clinton, as, as a board, you know what I mean? Uh, I do promise, uh, I've been here seven years now, and, and these kind of situations, uh, are, we do take them very serious, uh, our district does. But as far as the Board of Education, I don't think we can really com you know, comment, like comment on this tonight, you know what I mean, in this, in this forum. Um, so I didn't find out about this till he got home from baseball that night. Okay. I wasn't called from the principal, superintendent, the nurse didn't look at him, he wasn't able to take the phone call. I went through this for how long now? We've been going through this April till now, and he's still there. I don't understand how a teacher can hit a student and this happens. I mean, we're all parents in here. And if you were in my shoes, I'm sure you would be here right now. Asking oh, I'm not. Questions. Yeah, listen, I'm not. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm advising you as far as the board goes that, you know, this is out of kind of board of jurisdiction, so to speak. You know, we I really to, you can't talk about it. I come here to speak you my piece about it. Yeah. with the whole situation. Yeah. You know what I'm getting? You know oh, I understand. understand. Listen, saying? I would be, I'm, I agree with your comment too. Yeah. I would be here asking questions myself. I, that's the kind of guy I am. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like from what I've looked through here, a lot of it's been dealt with. There's been there's been some repercussion. Uh, there's been, like I said, we've had a lawyer involvement, our, our attorneys. No, yeah. And local law enforcement. So that's all I can personally give you as the board is concerned. You know that it has been addressed in those aspects. Uh, I, that may not be what you totally want. And I understand. Uh, I just wish I could do more. Yeah. You, you I know? mean, does does the district have a zero tolerance for teachers hitting students? Do they have well, that, or is it? There really isn't a zero tolerance for anything outside of. Uh, there isn't. Yeah, each, even the fire department thinks kind of not a zero tolerance you know, thing anymore. Is each great, and that's why there was discipline involved. The legislature can't legally. You know, I, I can't tell you what to know discipline, what the discipline is. Am I allowed to know? No, but you can do a public records request. That's okay. you know. Yeah, you can. I can't, I, I I can't legally in. discuss it, but you can. Yeah. But you can do a public records request. Because I called in to find out what was going on, and I talked to a secretary here, but I didn't talk to you. You never called me back. No, I. I when was that? A while back. Mm, the last time I found out that everything had been taken care of, I talked to the secretary out here, mm -hmm. and I never got a phone call back. Okay. I, so I I don't know about that, but. It, I, we can't legally discuss the teacher discipline, but I, you can get it through a public records request. That's kind of what you're trying to say. Yeah, the board. <laughs> yes, yeah, as far as the board's concerned, I know we can't we can't sit here and, and discuss it at all. I mean, but like what Devin's you telling you, you can do a public records request to see what discipline was taken, and so on and so forth. And then at that point, you know, you'll have some answers, as, you know, as, as much as possible. Yeah, uh, I think. And I could be out of line here, but I think, tell me if I'm wrong, but each situation, if we, if we don't have the zero tolerance, every situation is handled according to the... Uh, progressive. Yes. yes. Progressive discipline. Yes. yes. And that's why you bring law enforcement in. Yes. And the, attorneys the nature of the incident, yeah. so to speak. So if it, how extreme, however, you know, if there's a physical... Uh, issue you know as far as is somebody hurt you know i you know so i can't i can't go any further but i would suggest if you're if you're curious to come in and ask you know get the uh yeah yeah you can make a public public that's records. how you get what you're <coughs> yeah now well I, i'm just here today to try to make sure that this doesn't happen again to someone like me that went through four or five months of this and still, I've not known exactly what's been taken care of or what's been going on. Okay. I mean, the district can't tell if, you what's happening with another individual. 
I, but the, if the my son would have hit him, cannot find out he wouldn't even had a, a okay. chance to even. The legally, I can't tell you what happens to another in, to a to a staff member. That's yeah. why I'm saying you can public or records request that can get that, but I can't tell you. You see yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I'm just trying to get this figured out, you know, because as far as I'm concerned, on my end, nothing's been taken care of. I, I think on our end it has, yeah, but you're, you're at looking for answers, and the, the exactly. best way we to do that it. would be, yeah. I can't give them to you, nor can Devin, but you can do a public records request yeah. and then see what, what action was taken. Because it's hard for me to even come here because my wife works for the district. But that's my son, you know. I got this is not easy for me because I've known so. you a long time. Yeah, and we're friends, each other forever. <laughs> you know. So but I'm trying to do do you mind, All right. I yeah, understand and I respect that. You know, as yeah. far as, as I'm concerned, I've always made sure uh, this has to be open, and I'm not never going to push anybody aside, make them feel like they can't come and talk. So yeah. I respect that you're here. Yeah. I just can't. Nor tonight can we give you the answers you want in a, in a, in a public uh, open so meeting. Yeah, you're legally letting it. Yes. Yeah, that's what you're trying to yeah. do. I want you guys to know that, you know, look at that in the future. Yeah. So this doesn't happen to, and I got a daughter coming up next, and I don't want her to be with that yeah. either. You know, I got tons of family that goes to that school and everything. I mean, he's a foreign Is kid. your son doing okay right now? Is yeah. everything okay he's this fine. year? Yeah. At this year's okay. Everything's good. He's going to vocational school. He doesn't go to high school anymore. But I mean, I just want to, you know, I think something needs to, in the future. I know the law's involved and you got lawyers and everything else, but teachers shouldn't be hitting students unless you take them back in the day when we were, you know, you get paddled. Right. Well, that, this I, isn't a paddle. Yeah. I understand. Uh, like I said, I'm going to suggest you do the public records request. You can do that right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, then, but yeah, yeah, yeah tomorrow, yeah, not tonight. Secretary's Come in tomorrow that, anytime yeah. and ask for that information, and they will provide you with it. You can call, you don't actually have to come in. I mean, the, well, it has to put something in writing. You can email, I guess. Yeah, yeah, and then you can look through that, and that'll give you the information that you're you're looking for, I think. Okay, okay, yeah, but I appreciate it. Hey, and Mr. Just, Glendenny, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, I'm, I, that's not right, as in what happened. Yeah. You know, I don't think it's right at all, but, you know, but it is what it is, I guess. But I, I'm sorry, you know. I hope you guys, you know, take that to heart, coming from a parent, you know. Who will be? You know, we don't need to I'm sure it was too. taken at heart, the situation when it happened. Yeah. I mean, I, I've teacher. seen, and I've, you know, I've been involved, not been involved, but we're advised on things, obviously. And, uh. Anytime something like this were to happen, I mean, I guarantee you, as far as the district's concerned, the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed, you know. But there are lawyers and there are law enforcement and all that, so that limits what I can discuss. But I just, uh, I don't think I have a very good deal, you know, on my end for my family. I understand. You know, my kid's a big kid, plays football, he's a farm kid, he knows when he gets hit. Yeah. yeah, he knows what's ahead and not ahead. So, but I appreciate your time, and I'll talk to you later. Well, thank Thanks. you, sir. Yep. <clears throat> okay. We will move over to uh, administrative reports, and we are going to go with grades K through five, uh, Dawn and Shelley. I'm I'll start in yeah, K2 too. and I'll let Shelly take okay. care of Thank you. Um, so we've been busy, of course, and uh, we've hosted two family engagement activities. We've done our Donuts with Grown Ups at Seacrest, and that was well attended. We also did Pastries in the Park at Byesville, which was a whole new aspect for us just because we thought the building was very hot that day, and we tried to do something that was a little different. So we actually had the kids walk to the park, and the parents met us there, or I should say special people, and um, it actually turned out very nice. It was very nice, it was a nice um, atmosphere, and I think the kids had a great time walking down. It was something different. I wish we would have thought of it before because I really think it was a nice way to do it, that people weren't having to go up and down steps, and um, it was just much cooler. For and them. that building's especially hot. That it, building is it really does. hot. <laughs> I have a gentleman say, this is my first year, and I thank you so much you did not make me go on that hot band. <laughs> <laughs> well, I understand, that so. Hot. But it was, it was well received, I'm I'm
Um, we're finishing our benchmark testing. We're identifying our students who need interventions as well as, as, well as our students who need uh, reading improvement plans. Uh, next week, we're going to start our fall fundraiser. That starts Wednesday the 25th. It will run through August, uh, October 9th, sorry. Uh, we're also having our PBIS reward. It is going to be snow cones and extra recess, and that will be about mid-October. So um, it went home as far as what our recommendations were for that in order to attend, so parents are aware of that. Uh, we are also planning our final safe trick-or-treat, and this year is going to be held solely at Bysville. And that will be to all <coughs> the parents. It will be a haunted schoolhouse. Um, I think that um, in the past, the Bisel students have enjoyed it. And being that it, it is our last one in our old schools, I think that it will be a very fun event for Secrets. We've attended one other time together. So it's going to be a joint venture. And it's guaranteed to be spooky, mm -hmm. for sure. So that's going to be October 24th. And we've already started the planning. So we're just right through it. It's going to be here going along you know quick. Yeah. Yes, it is. Very quick. All right. And Shelby. Speaking of going on really quick, we're two weeks away from being a quarter of the way through the year. Like, we're that close to the first nine weeks, which is just kind of crazy. Um, and we are getting through all the assessments. Um, at Brook, we are pretty much done with our assessments, except for the Cadence. The Cadence is a new um, assessment tool that we are using this year. It um, allows us to assess for the dyslexia screener and um, for a free reading guarantee and any other student that may just need a little extra help in reading, it's going to give us that um, diagnostic information. Um, lunches have been a huge, huge success, um, and breakfast. So that has been a great, um, great thing for the kids. They really, really like it. Um, I know they were a little grumbling when the pizza we had to kind of swing things around, and and we're just all kind of um, going with the flow this year. That's kind of our motto right now. Um, but they, they had to start doing preschool lunches in, at Brook or the high school, whichever you want to call it. And so the pizza kind of went away for right now, but we're, I know they're planning on bringing it back. But it's a really good pizza, so if you ever want to try it, we are still having it on Fridays, and it, it's really good. It is really good. Uh, yeah. Matt said he's buying, so <laughs> <laughs> any of the board wishes, uh, it's on uh, notes. I know, um, I know that us being at the high school has been kind of a hot topic. Um, we've had wait everything new so like the car situation and the bus situation it is rolling like we are in and out of there it is smooth it only took us a couple days to get that going i really want to say a big thanks to my staff and the bus drivers for being very patient with us and, and teaching us what the high school did last year um, and i know it's all going to change as soon as that parking lot gets done that's on the gym side we're going to move the buses over there so that buses and cars aren't in the same area so um, yeah, go with the flow this year. Uh, we have, Don and I have started our new rules this September. <coughs> we started going back and forth so that we can get to know the staff and the staff can get to know us and the students. Um, it's been 12 years since I've been in a K2 setting. It is different and I, I like it, I enjoy it. There's some really neat kids down there and I, I can't wait to really get where we're five days a week in one building because that's gonna be awesome. Um, New curriculum is rolling out that we got up and running. Um, I know I've talked to a lot of the staff. We've had our little hiccups with anything that you roll out new, but um, they are really liking it. Um, and the last thing I want to just say is um, homeless numbers. <coughs> we I've looked at the numbers. We are down a little bit, but we probably had our largest enrollment of homeless students coming in that are living at the different hotels this year um, since I've been liaison. So um, that number is kind of up. We do have our first meeting next Friday um, for that, and let's keep rolling. <coughs> we were in the building last Thursday, and I'm, I'm gonna say, if you haven't been in that building, um, it is awesome. Like, sure there are some places that they're almost ready to just start putting furniture in, yeah, which is pretty stuff. exciting. Yeah, like, I, I, my secretary and I, we, we jump over there all the time, mm -hmm. and You're because we're so <laughs> close, and I'm just like, I wanna go look, I wanna go look and see where they're at now, and it is, it is really awesome see what they're doing. Um, there's color in there now, um, there's boards on the walls and lockers and tile on the floor. It's just it's looking like a school building. Coming together. It is it is so exciting. It's been a long time, but I'm glad it's it's it is so worth it. I'm just saying it is <laughs> yeah. so worth it. Good. I'm I'm really glad to hear that. 
All right, we'll go to grades six through eight, JP and Chad. Listen, Don, if you want to see Spooky, just come to the middle school. We have Spooky every day. <laughs> <laughs> just, just from the nature of that grade level. Um, so one of the new things that we put in this year, um, begrudgingly on my part at first, was uh, we had our lunches are three 30 minute periods. So we have to have, we have an intervention and then we had an extra 30 minutes. And kids have been asking for years to have recess. And the person that got rid of recess was Larry Tubble a long time ago, biggest advocate to have something like that. And he, but because of behaviors at recess, they, he finally did away with it in the 19, or in like 2001 or 2002. So we put it back and kind of put it on the kids, like this is something we want you to do. We want you to have fun, but we have to keep controlling ourselves. And so far, um, it's been a big success. We've lost some stuff on the use out there, basketballs, footballs, some cross net volleyball game. I, I set it up, I don't know how to play it. Um, and so far they've really enjoyed it. We've had a minim minimal of small issues, but no major issues, knock on wood again. And uh, so that's been a big success and the kids, not only are they enjoying it, but they, some of them express appreciation just to be able to go outside and blow off some steam, give us some energy. Uh, so big success, I think, in that part. Uh, we just finished our fall fundraiser, which is our only school-wide fundraiser. Uh, the candy bar sale, we sold 728 bars of candy in about 10 days. Um, it was incredible how fast they went, and it, it, it was just kids are just they're bringing in they're bringing in money both to buy boxes before they even had them. It was it was, it was really fast this year. Um, so and then the rewards for that are upcoming here in the next couple of weeks. They still have to be planned. One of them is a tour of Ohio Stadium for if you sold three boxes, I think it was, um, which includes the recruit room, the locker room, the press box, the band room, the um, or the Huntington suite, and they get to go on the field. Wow. Um, so I think that was a big draw for a lot of kids this year. Um, I know Brandon wasn't going to sell it until you threw that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, know, I know somebody volunteered really quick to be one of the chaperones. So, um, so, but yeah, that was a, a, a big success and funds basically all the triple A's and everything we do all year. Uh, we held our Washington DC trip parent meeting, just an informational meeting of what it can be. Uh, the deposits due next week, hopefully after it's approved tonight. Um, our eighth grade has some of their uh, career planning activities coming up. Um, in the next three to four weeks, they will visit both vocational schools. And then uh, Mr. Norman in eighth grade actually planned, he noticed last year that you know we did career day, we did financial literacy day, and we did these trips to vocational school, but we never took kids anywhere and done anything for college prep. Um, so their, the entire eighth grade is gonna take a trip to Marietta College this year and uh, get a tour, Marietta Echo College has some activities, and the idea is we'll pick some of the more local colleges and just rotate through those as we go through the years here, just pick different ones, just to give them a taste of it. Um, then lastly, the, our first round of PBIS AAAs are starting to be planned. We don't know where they're going yet, but that's where the, all three grades will either go to the movies or bowling or something to go to the class um, if they meet the academic, the attendance, and the uh, academic achievements and attendance. Uh, marks that we've set for them. So all in all, we start and uh, a lot of good things coming up. Very good. Okay, we will go to nine through twelve. We'll start with uh, Marcy. Right. Can I call you Marcy? Yes. Is right. that fine? It's Is that fine. what most it's, people? Are? It's fine. Yes. Most people. <laughs> <laughs> so I have asked. We have a student leadership course this year called Team Lead, and led by Mr. Andrews. Andrew Nichols. I said Andrews. Andrew Nichols. And I have invited Haley here tonight, but I had talked to Devin about every board meeting having a student representative so that they can share what their insights and what they think happening in the building. So Haley volunteered to be first, so I'm pretty proud of her being leader, leader and stepping up to this, to this role. And so I'm going to let Haley go ahead and share what's happening on the student side, on the leadership side. All right. Very good. Uh, first, we just wanted to thank all the support we've gotten for past projects. I mean, last year we did some pretty cool stuff. And then this year so far, we did a pep rally for the rival week because we haven't done one in a long time. And it went over pretty well. I think everybody enjoyed it. We got Mitty's kids to come over and stuff. So there was a lot of participation with that. And then we have a couple projects coming up in the next couple of months. Some of you might have heard about some of it. Um, we have, it's called the Moonlight Movie Night. and. It's partially for a fundraiser, but it also gives families an opportunity to see some movies for cheaper, so that way you put a family thing. 
you want to explain what Where's that, that is? Is that explain how on that campus? Little, on huh? Yeah, it'll be on the football field. Oh. We have, we've bought screens and now we have a projector coming and we have going to have concessions. We're working out all the details now on how we're going to get the cards in. We're going to charge $10 a card. So how many people you can pack in? <coughs> Two in. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully get some fun. There'll be people hitting trunks and <laughs> there'll be trunks full and everything else. Hopefully we get some fun stories out of that. Yeah. And then we're also gonna have I don't know if any of you guys heard about it last year, we're gonna do the boo bash again. That was pretty popular. We had high school photos during Red Ribbon Week we had all the high school students help decorate the hallways in Halloween slash Ribbon Week. Yes, I remember. That was really yes, neat. Yeah, was. I think Mike Chris yeah. 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 yeah, it was really great. So we're planning, we're planning on doing that again, which the movie and I, it's actually going to help fund, hopefully. Yeah. It can be kind of expensive to get all that candy. And then <laughs> <laughs> we also have, we're going to do the Veterans Day Assembly again, so we're going to start working on that again soon, too. It's funny, Haley said, you guys probably heard about this because they asked me to help them buy a projector. But the funny thing is, I didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, that's the first I heard. Yeah, I like, so the movie night, that's going to be open. Is that open to the public? Yep. Yep. Yeah, it so is like a football game or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Just 10 like bucks and you come in and watch a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's neat. She, she missed the part. Tell them what movies you're showing and what else. All right. So it's going to start. Cards are going to be allowed to come in at 6. And then at seven, Monsters Inc. will start. That way, like, for younger families, there's that going. Yeah. And then, yeah, there's an animation process. It'll last for about half an hour. And then we're going to show the 2024 Twisters movie. Yeah, I've seen that advertised. It looks fun. And? And, and is there more? <laughs> <laughs> That's why they never did the other projector. Yeah, those screens. Yeah, we have two screens going. We're also going to be showing the Ohio State. Yeah, oh, I got a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> I always had a suggestion. We need a dunk tank there during intermission. <laughs> Wait for, 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 for Mr. Detra. That draw some people, guys. Think about it. Ooh, I, I would oh. make sure I make it to that one and throw a couple of softballs. <laughs> you know. Something. Now, that's awesome. I, that we never had nothing like that one. Well, part of their... Part of their reasoning was, you know, it's so expensive to take a full family to the movies. Yeah. This is a cheaper alternative. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. awesome. I love watching them brainstorm because they were thinking about how do they get dads there. They wanted the whole family. It was all about parent engagement. So they were like, how do we get the dads to come? Because they're all going to stay at home because of the games. Because it's on a Saturday. Yeah. 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 So and it's the working game. It's a big one. Oh. Okay, so the last thing I overheard as I was walking through the classroom was, the, the football field. How do we protect the football field? What do we allow? Sure. What's the rules? What, what's allowed in? What's not? Do we allow pets? Do we not allow pets? Do, you know, with the with the blankets and the chairs and the marks, do we allow gum? Do we allow any cups, you know, in there? Are the concessions going to be outside or inside? So it's amazing I was thought processes and the brainstorming that's taking place in, in this classroom with these students. Yeah, yeah I'm just one of 16, so. But, really but that's impressive. good thought because I th first thing I thought was, I know what that football field costs. Yeah. <laughs> That's where my mind always Yeah, goes. it's yeah. like, as a board member, you think, okay, this sounds great, but who's going to watch our football field? Well, Make sure yeah. it's not destroyed. And we've got I'm that big yeah. down there. Yeah. yeah. For cars. Yeah. 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 No, that's that would be that would be a blast. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We never had anything like that, so I gotta give you kids credit. Well, and that's just what's away. happening right now. And they have so many things planned, and they've worked well with me. Like there's ideas that I have had to share with students, so I've given it to them and said, "How do we make this better?" You know, yeah. and that's student driven. And so they're <coughs> working on our our cold up awards right now. They're working on an award for staff and students, and what that can look like, and the rubrics for that award, and how we go about taking applications. So. It's amazing to me what, the, what they've been able to accomplish. I didn't know anything about that because we have well, four she's different like groups. They have four different groups within that <laughs> within the classroom. But so that really, thank you for coming and sharing. It's yeah, amazing. thank you very much. That's good. That's fun stuff. I like it. Real well. Yeah. So some other things that are happening. We're also benchmarking, finishing all that. But I need to give a shout out to Jason through transportation and a shout out to our cooks. You know, uh, the pep rally, for an example. We wanted participation from all of our students, so that required two routes to the vocational school to set up to bring those kids back so they could be part of the pep rally and then make sure those who didn't want to come, that they had transportation to come back. Um, I will, 
I will share that in the past I've heard that most students will come from vocational school and just leave. We didn't have one student even attempt to. They really wanted That's to see right. what was happening. Of course, I wouldn't have let them if they wanted right. to. Right. <laughs> that was, that was but, something I always thought. They didn't, thought, try. So you know, they didn't even try, so we were happy about that. Um, we had a great turnout from vocational schools and heard nothing but good, good things. But at Cox, too, because of um, losing the advisory period this year and the change for, to academic focus, and we've had to really work hard, Doug, Doug knows this, and shifting our schedule constantly. So early dismissal, one hour, two hour early dismissal, a two hour early release, a so one hour early release, a cold pride for clubs, a cold, so that just means shifting the schedule. So that affects our cooks and lunch and trying to get the students through and having a 1040 lunch some days, you know, to accommodate the schedule. And they've been so accommodating and so great. I'm just so grateful for that, how wonderful they've been. Um, all our classified staff and helping us make this happen. So that's been wonderful. Um, we're also working on curriculum. We're working on professional growth plans because we're getting ready for evaluation cycles. We'll start walkthroughs and, and just looking at instructional practice. But I started with having a baseline of what the curriculum is, what are using as instructional tools. Um, the report card was released. I'm sure you'll, you'll have a conversation about that. So our CBT teams are working on tearing a report card apart, looking at that data to help inform um, what they want to do next and what instructional choices they're going to be making. Um, we had Officer Terrell work with the staff and just do a review over safety. You know, talk about Alex, talk about the new run, fight, hide, but really just empower them to make the best choices in the moment that they need to make. And that just, I think it, um, we never want anything like that to happen, but it just gave them some safety, a feeling of safety and security, just to know that there was a plan, what we were gonna do, especially being in a new building. Um, trying to think, oh, Colt Career, Week um, <coughs> project based career. I put it on our fate, our website, but the kids had a blast going to Wheeling and really having some hands on application. And we had our um, career fair at Pritchard this week as well. Um, turnout wasn't as good as what they hoped for, but they had a lot of turnout from several school districts. So that was that was wonderful. Um, being at the Pritchard just feels good. Then there's a lot of events going on, but we're hoping to continue to build that. And then um, stock the trailer. I'll end with we had 25,000 food items donated by our students. So we thought that was pretty amazing. 25,000? 1,000 items Christ. donated for Stop the Trailer. So it was great. And do you have anything you want to add? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, uh, I'll kind of pinky-tail what JP said. Knock on wood, the discipline so far has been very minimal. Uh, just you know, very few people. Um, so hopefully that continues. And I think I told Mike, I told Devin, I think the food at lunch is playing a large role in that, especially at the cafeteria time. You know, it's kids want to eat, not yeah, get in trouble. I mean, yeah, it's they have choices, and you know, the one comment was, it's cooked. You know, it's not <coughs> in a bag or nothing like that. So I think that is um, done tremendous. So I will add too on the cell phone policy. We were all concerned about what that could look like this year, and we have teacher discretion in our building. And we had minimal cell phone issues when it comes to discipline. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 I know. Knock on wood. But I have been very impressed with our students yeah. because they've been, for the most part, very respectful of teacher discretion in the building. Good. Well, Haley, we can get you out of here because you kind of. You don't, probably don't want to sit and listen to the rest, but we need you to get a picture with the board first if you can. Can we do that? <laughs> Yes, and Ms. Murphy, do you want to give it a little bit I'll take picture for you, Marcy. Ms. Murphy. <laughs> yeah. This is all this <laughs> While you guys are getting ready, I forgot to say one thing. Um, we had do three buddy benches donated by the class of 1974. So if you come to the front of the high school, there are three... Oh, yeah. polyplastic benches out there. Yeah, we talked yeah. about that. You forgot to mention yeah, it. Yeah, I totally forgot to mention it. <laughs> All right, we ready? Yep. One, two, three. All right. Mike, I wasn't looking at you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Stand still again. All right, thank you. <laughs> We're good. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And you are more than welcome to slip out. Like I said, I'm sure you can. Except now you want to spend your Me neither. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks again. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mean that. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Yeah, I know. I said, go find that. Okay.
I've been doing this a couple of days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're all <awesome. laughs> All right, we are really going. Good. That's what I was going to say. We're going to the nutri- nutri- nutrition group now. I'll turn it over to you guys. All right. Um, so we threw together a little report for you guys. Um, we did it out to everybody. Um, if you flip to the first page, it has some pictures of the staff orientation day. That uh, seemed to be a really big success. Um, the next page goes over the Bosville and Secrets Elementary. Um, open houses with our mascot, Molly the Cow. The kids really loved the cow. It was a very hot costume I got to dress up in. Was that you? (laughs) Rough time of year for that, too. (laughs) Um, The next page shows some pictures of our apple bar event that we did over the past couple of days at the uh, kindergarten and first grade levels. Um, They have a lot of fun with that. And then um, next we have the budget and actual participation numbers across the cafeteria. Um, Our biggest problem area, I would say, is the high school lunch. So we're working on some ideas for that. Um, Over the next couple of pages, it talks about the um, school lunch pirates week, the national school lunch week. Um, We have that October 14th through 18th, and there's a couple of events during that week that we'll be doing. Um, Some upcoming events, um, we have teddy bear pancakes, one on at the preschool uh, this month coming soon. Um, We have again National School Lunch Week. We'll have a Thanksgiving feast coming in November, an Asian inspired action station November 8th, and a lucky tray day once per month. And then we're gonna do a Willy Wonka (coughs) event um, on October 21st through the 25th. Um, And then the next page shows some new items that we have. Um, The third one over is the Boba Teas and Lemonades. We're going to implement those here pretty soon at the high school level. I thought maybe those were actual drinks in Devon's office. (laughs) 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 I know it's been hot this summer. (laughs) I'm kidding. I had to get that. (laughs) But we'll probably have some more new stuff. But then, you know, the, the last page, just if you need to contact us for anything, have any questions, our contact information is there on the back. Um, I want to know why we're not having teddy bear pancakes in middle school. I see Matt highlighting teddy bear pancakes. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> we're on the same page. I was watching him out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> Very good. Cindy? So, back to the pizza. We did bring three pizzas for you this evening. For just me? Oh, next door. oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she said for you. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yes. Yeah, so well, thank you. 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 That's awesome. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. If we're good there, let's go over, turn it over to Brandon and the Treasurer's report, please. All right, um, I have approve all the minutes from the August 15th meeting, uh, approve of the August financial report, uh, approve of the five uh, then analysis certificates. Uh, item D is a uh, recommendation of donating the dormant funds as presented. Um, been working with Marcy on that. Um, there was a lot of old class funds and a lot of old uh, student activity funds that are no longer in use. So we thought now is the time to get that money to use. I know she has some good things planned for that money. So um, be good to get that moved around. Uh, and then E and F are related. And so she probably could touch more on it, but um, we were recently awarded the Ohio Career Technical Education Equipment Grant just under 250,000, so we're really excited about that. And um, we talked about oh, last pathway, month. Right? Yeah. Technology pathway. Yeah. The equipment and the P- professional development for that. Yeah, so, um, you know, it's always great news, and F is just amending our um, revenue and our appropriations so we can go ahead and start spending that money and fund the youth and the equipment to use. Very good. Okay, do I have a motion for A through F? Motion. <coughs> or second. Yeah. Roll call, please. Uh, Mr. Motes? Yes. Mr. Yurdai? Yes. Mr. Dudley? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Yes. 
All right, we'll go over to standing committees. Uh, we'll start with policy, and that's Matt and Mike. Anything under policy? I don't have any questions. No, just, uh, no. Nothing? Yeah, yeah quick call on Mike. He's struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Athletic, we've got Mike again and Brad. Um, nice thing to have is uh, the fall athletics is in full swing, and uh, we've had some nice wins junior high, high school, uh, both football and volleyball. And Junior high volleyball, uh, just being another undefeated team. So, yeah, they, they, they 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 I feel like 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 both the seventh and eighth grade have not lost a set this year, wow. which is amazing. And they knew Lex had, had hadn't lost either, so uh, went to that the other night. And the one game lost, was substantial. They, they beat down. And uh, as a matter of fact, Union Local. Uh, after losing their first match to us, lost their next match yeah. right up there to the next school. So it's yeah. stunned them really well. The football's had a couple of nice wins there. And then, uh, uh, JP, can you tell them what's going on, uh, what, next weekend? Uh, yeah, the high school's the got band? the festival bands. I think there's 12 bands plus Meadowbrook. Um, so the stadium will be full, ranging from a band, I think, that has like 16 kids and one that has like almost 200. Um, so it'll be a big night, it'll be a long night, but uh, it's a, What time does that start? For me? Uh, <laughs> it starts about 7 a.m. That's what I'm saying, it's old. I'm not even the band director anymore. Um, I think the first band plays at 5 o'clock, National Anthem 445. See, that, that was when I used to do it. I, I don't know if you'll quote me in the time, but... Uh, Mr. Harvey told me about five. Yeah, I think the first band's at five. And I don't know when the last band is because I don't get to leave then. So <laughs> it'll be a.m. before we leave. So. Nobody ever seems to know. Yeah. Anyway, like you try to just hit like, certain bands. Like you know, that night. Met, yeah, Meadowbrook's <laughs> last in the exhibition. So very good. Anything under legislative, uh, Mike? No. Anything under Mid East? No. Um, we're still. Uh, we put out the bids. We had to uh, with the. Uh, driver simulators for the CDL courses and that. We thought we were doing well on it and then the state comes in and says we gotta bid it out. Uh, so then the, we bid it out and the company that had the lowest bid can't provide what we need. So we had to do a whole- A whole nother bid. Another, well, not another bid, but we had to approve, board approve, taking the higher bid oh. because they met the, Okay. It was criteria. Just, yeah, the criteria. Yeah, the criteria. Yeah. So, wow. that's uh, <clears throat> so, but once we get that, uh, we will have one of the CDL uh, driving simulators from Mid East at Meadowbrook. Oh, good. So, and then that way the students can start to learn. Yeah. Uh, I know we don't have anything under uh, insurance no. or negotiation. Building and grounds. That's me and Darren. Darren's not here. I guess one thing I just thought of. That, was whenever we spoke about the back of the field house or the, the new shack. Yes. Did we get anywhere with that yet? Yes, I'll, I'll have to fill you in more later. But for the time being, you know, we've been working with Bicycle, but for the time being, uh, Dreams Excavating is going to spray some chemical they use on gravel roads and this and that to keep the dust down. So that's the immediate answer. Uh, we're also pressure washing as we go. The paving's coming, it's just going to be a little longer, and those numbers have went up drastically. So there's yeah, the, the, there's a longer conversation with that, but yes. <laughs> the other part of that is, remember, we talked about the power unit on the back of the shack. Yes. People could pull. Scott's been working on that, and they're, they're uh, going to. Jason Emch is doing something with that. Okay, yeah. He's putting something in on that. That's good news. Uh, and it, there's nothing we can do. The dust, it's horrible. This has been the driest year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I hope everybody understands, you know, we're trying and we're working on it. They but I drive down 821 and it's just, you, you can know. See oh, it's a cloud. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, I it's, now, Jason, you know, said that, that chemical is impressive. Really? But I, I knew nothing about it. Oh, good. They donated it on part of the campus and we got a quote today to do that on the back there just to buy us some time to get the paper. Get us some time, good. But also, I put us in for the SNAZI award at the Cambridge Chamber of Commerce and we won um, oh, <laughs> for, you know, best upgraded business, quote unquote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, good. John Jones went and accepted it the other night. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. That's good news. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, already, yeah that's, that's, that's pretty cool. 
We don't have anything under audit. <clears throat> Community outreach, Matt. Excuse me. No, really, I've learned a lot this week about Lexile and Accelerator <laughs> Reader, and um, it's, it's just so mind-boggling to me that, like, you know, the Ohio Department of Education uses Lexile. I go to the library, they use Accelerated Reader. <laughs> I reach out to the State Library Board, who's appointed by the Ohio Department of Education, but yet we have two different systems, and I, it's just the craziest thing ever, because I've been finding books that fulfill the requirement under Accelerated Reader, but then under Lexile, it doesn't. And uh, I guess the moral of the story is, I can't wait till we have a library on campus. Yeah, right. <laughs> because yeah. Oof, it's wild. I didn't it's understand crazy. all that. Oh, it's How is that crazy. coming along? Well, we, we're kind of in a holding pattern okay. until we're done with the project. <laughs> gotcha. but okay. we, we talk to them regularly, but yeah, we're kind of in a holding That'll pattern. That'll be after the whole project. That's right. after it's completely done. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just... I just really think really cool. I just really think it's important as I've dug into this as a parent. Like it's just I, I, I can't sit at home and search the library catalog for my Lexile <coughs> book global because it's not. So then I have to use a third party site, find the accelerated reason version, see if it fulfills that requirement. Then it doesn't because they grade it different. It's like Think, think about the other 800 sets of parents that don't know, you know. Right, I ended up on the phone with a state yeah, library yeah, board yeah, and, like, just, and the <laughs> state yeah, library board member over yeah. this. Yeah. And, I mean, they, they built a reading room and they sent me the location, but no one's going to find that, you know, where they're able to <coughs> comparatively. It's just, we need that. It, that age has not left us, I don't believe. We yeah. still need the library. So I agree. That's all I got. Uh, business advisory. Yeah, uh, that meeting is next week, first one of the year. Okay. Uh, supervisor reports. Jason's not Board here. Removed. Megan, you already did. Yeah. Already did. Uh, Mike's not here. So we'll move over to old business. Uh, Zach. You want rebar. Rebar is that how you do that? Or you gonna you do can do it. Then? Okay. <laughs> uh, Zach Rebar is one of our new, he's our new science teacher. Um, that's an adjustment. And then Brenda Jesse, we, it, she was here a meeting ago. Um, she's still working on getting her CTE certification for Ohio after, you know, moving from Florida to Ohio. So we kind of made an agreement for in the meantime how we're going to pay her. Okay. So that's what those are. Do I have a motion for those two items? Zach motion. and Brenda, please. Second. I'll second. Roll call. All right, Mr. Udley? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Yes. Mr. Moats? Yes. Mr. Erda? Yes. All right, superintendent's report. All right, well, I'm gonna try to be quick and get Lisa out of here because it went longer than we met for it now. <laughs> I wanted to get something on camera for that. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we have the new hires here. Uh, just to point it, couple out, Taylor Baker is our new head cheer coach um, and is doing a fantastic job from what I hear. Mike, any comments on that? No, I haven't really <clears throat> haven't been able to get to any games or anything. So. Right. Uh, group following district volunteers at sea, early graduation applications. Um, let me see here. There's a couple I'd like to touch on. The Ohio Strengths Collaborative, which I'd like uh, Marcy to speak on at some point, you know, that's something big that she brought when we hired her that you know, is going to make a major difference in the high school, so, and eventually on down. Um, and actually work for the board this week, uh -huh. strength assessment. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. I, I, yeah, we'll talk more about it because I'm going to lose you in the weeds, but that's all right. Uh, team lead wants to establish a student activity account so they can start collecting the money they're raising, like she discussed tonight. Uh, the DPS lease agreement as presented, that is for this property here, you know, so we can lease that. If you remember right, um, when I was negotiating on the sale of Beach Grove, we got 75%. Or we got 75 We got 75%. Yeah. I was thinking we only kept a quarter. Point. I was thinking he's a quarter. Yeah, 75 We did good. Yeah, so, so that's that. Um, trip request from FFA, which we do every year. Um, L is what Shelly mentioned earlier about the buddy benches, and M, approved maternity leave for Alyssa Markley as presented. So A through M, if possible, gentlemen. Do I have a motion? I'll move. Second. Second. So I'm strained. <laughs> <laughs> Roll call, please. Mr. Humphrey? Yes. Mr. Moats? Yes. Mr. Yurdak? Yes. Mr. Dudley? Yes. 
Very good. Uh, any new business? Should be angry. No correspondence. So I see something under information items. Uh, yeah, so uh, basically there is a new law in Ohio where all public employees and elected officials have to complete uh, a fraud prevention training. Like I said, it's only eight minutes. Um, you can scan the QR code with your phone to pull it up and um, you get a certificate at the end or you can go online and watch it. Um, like I said, it's just something that um, is required now and then once you, uh, you have it, go to send me your certificate and um, you'll be good to go. I believe that's something, I'm not sure, I think it's every year. Like yeah, it's gonna be every year, it's yeah. gonna be done by November 2nd. Yes. So um, I took it for Mideast, so it's simple. You sit, you watch a video for eight minutes, you click, you completed it, it brings you up a, a, a certificate, you email it to Brad. Yep, okay. so. It's a uh, really simple, and actually, that's something uh, coaches yeah. like gate workers, everyone has everyone. to do now. Yeah, so understandable. Is that something that we probably have to do it? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, that will, that will meet the criteria. We don't have executive session. Do we, you can shut it down. Do I have a motion for adjournment? I'll move. Is there a second? I'll okay. second. <laughs> All right. Roll call. Uh, Mr. Humphrey? Yes. Mr. Moats? Yes. Mr. Yurdak? Yes. Mr. Dudley? Yes. Next board meeting, October 17th, uh, 6 p.m. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Thanks guys, for coming. Thanks. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it.